In this module, we'll look at some of the hazards when barring. Hazard identification is the process of finding potential dangers in your working area. You must be able to identify the hazards and treat these hazards when we find them. This process of identifying and treating hazards is called a risk assessment. There are two types of hazards when working underground, workplace hazards and geological features. Some workplace hazards are unsafe support conditions, people standing too close to the area where you are boring, inadequate or obstructed escape routes, and geological features. There are many geological features that are specific to your mine, but we will show you how to identify the most common ones. They are mostly natural features which existed before mining started. Geological features cause weaknesses in the rock mass. These weak points must be discovered to prevent falls of ground. These features are jointing and joint infillings, faults and slips, brows, dikes and other intrusions, and groundwater. Joints and joint infillings. A joint is a break in the rock which separates the continuous rock mass. We often say that joints are planar features, which means that they are formed along a joint plane. There is no movement of rock on either side of a joint plane. Joint sets are groups of joints that have the same or similar dip and dip directions. Look at how these joints extend into the roof. Blocky ground is sometimes formed when joints intersect. When barring, Look for loose blocks formed by joints and sound them to see if they need to be barred down. Joints sometimes have infillings like clay. Blocks with infillings are more likely to fall. Always bar these areas until they are solid. Faults or slips. A fault is a break in the rock mass that causes movement of the rocks along the fault plane. Faults can move by a few centimeters or by hundreds of meters. The sides of a fault may have moved either vertically, horizontally, or both. A fault zone may be weakened by the shearing of rocks along the fault plane. Sometimes, water can be found seeping into excavations along fault planes. Therefore, always be aware that rocks in fault zones could be weathered, weak, and may fall easily. Remember to bar from a supported area moving towards the unsupported area of a fault. The faults you have identified must be supported according to your mine standard as soon as possible. Dikes and other intrusions. Dikes are described as vertical or steeply dipping sheets of igneous rock. They are mostly parallel sided features. A sill is a flatly dipping or horizontal sheet of igneous rock. Barring in dike areas is sometimes quite difficult because the rock can be stronger and more competent than the surrounding rock. Position yourself carefully when barring dikes. Remember that when sounding a dike, it may sound slightly different to the sounds that you are used to. You may hear a solid sound, but remember to look carefully at the area as well. The dikes you have identified must be attended to according to your mine standard. Brows. Brows features are planes in the roof that have been exposed by mining activity and typically form a step in the roof. They are typically found along a geological structure, either a bedding plane or joint. Sometimes the roof may be higher because they are brows. You must have a sounding stick and pinch bar that is long enough to sound and bar down the brow. When barring large brows, position yourself out of the way where the large blocks may fall. Also, make sure that the brow can be safely barred down. Otherwise, the brow may need to be supported. When deciding how to treat a brow, follow the top trigger action response plan process at your mine. Groundwater. While mining, you may at times find groundwater flowing into your working area. This water may come from geological features such as fissures, faults, or surface. 
Water in the surrounding rock weakens the rock and makes it heavier, which could lead to falls of ground. Remember that when barring and sounding in areas with water, have a clear escape route and firm footing so that you don't slip while making safe. Water can corrode installed support and reduce cohesion between bedding planes within the rock mass. Be careful. These are the most common geological hazards. But remember, no matter what the condition, always work with all workplace and geological hazards in the same way. Stick to the rules. Use the five P's of safe barring and the tricks of the trade.